Please, sneak things back tonight. Tonight, yes, we're back with MacPup. But this is a MacPup 525, the latest release that you should be able to download at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Should be nice, ready to go. Oopsie daisy, lovely jubbly. Right, I must say, it's the most stable MacPup I've had to date. And I've had a lot of them. John's really pleased with it, Pritt's really pleased with it, everybody's really pleased with it. It just runs really, really smooth, and all the extras also run really, really smooth. So if you've never heard of MacPup before, I'm going to give you a little look round and show you what it's all about. I must like I like the new clock, like Big Ben in it. Yeah, I like it. So it's got the usual MacPup bar down the bottom. Bear in mind, it's not based on Mac. No, 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 no. It's based on Puppy Linux, of course. But this will be the last one based on the Lucid branch, I'm afraid, as far as I'm aware. But I'm going to talk to John about that a bit later in the week, maybe next week sometime. So anyway, down our bar. We have our two desktops. You can have as many desktops as you like, by the way. Determinal. We also have P mount to mount your drives and your USB sticks and your SD cards and stuff like that. Rox is your file manager. There you go. As you can see, I've downloaded some extra bits already. So we've got the extra mods I've downloaded and the Angelic Pet I've also downloaded from Runt's page or the MacPup.org org page. Let's have a look at about MacPup. There we go. Now, you should have read this before if you've done a MacPup before, but it just tells you all about it. What's going down, who's helped out, what it's all about. You know what I'm saying. Of course you do. Nice. And he gives us little extras here as well about keeping your CPU cool, because remember, it's using E17. Although it's very light on resources, you can get loads and loads of stuff running with E17, and you can get carried away with all the extras you add on, like me. Okay, so yeah, it tells you all about it. So check that out first before you do anything else. So we come out of that. As I've said, I've installed these two pets here, which are on the page, which you should be able to get once you've got MacPup 525 running. Nice and lovely jubbly. So that's enough of that one. Okay, we have HTOP for your system monitor. Now as you can see, from but this is actually inst an installed system. It's not running from the live CD, it's installed. We are only using 41 meg of RAM. Oh yeah, yeah, I know it's a dual core machine, but it's my old one, no, the old one. Yeah, it's getting really ancient now, it's, it's having bad times, it's had about three hard drives since I've had it. Wow, yeah, but runs really nice on resources, look, nice, super, love it, let's do the next one. We'll go from there. Firefox is your standard browser, so I'll open the Fox up, let's have a look, see what goes down. That's nice, isn't it, look. So, I'm going to put a Mac Pup in here, and see what we get. Okay, that's the one we want. Yeah. Now, as you can see, because it's not actually been released yet, 520 is the only one available at the moment. Do you see what I'm saying? At the moment. But hopefully, by the time you see this video, it'll be up online and you'll be able to download it. But if it takes a bit longer, don't worry too much about it. It'll be available really, really soon. Now, John's really pleased with this one, and I am too, actually. I've tried to kill it, right, but it won't be killed. Yeah, I know. Just probably, I can't kill it. I could probably find a way. I'll get all the kids to do it, and they'll probably find a way to kill it. But no, really nice and stable. I do like that. Really, really nice. We also have a quick pet here, because it's a pup, isn't it? And it's a looted pup. And you can download all your stuff. Now, I've downloaded a couple of bits and bobs, but not too many. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually download one here. So we try to choose a nice small one so we can do. Right, Sea Monkey sounds all right to me. Let's click on Sea Monkey. And download him and make sure. Yeah, be alright. Yeah. Just say, okay, what one do we want? Oh, I'll get a choice of what one I want. Look, I can have the latest or the not so latest. So, what shall I have? I won't go for the beta one. I'm going to go for the 2011. Okay, that sounds good. But obviously, if you want to do the beta, that's entirely up to you. As you can see, my net speed's getting back to normal now after a bit of an outage. We'll go into that in another video. But yeah. But on the whole, MacPup runs seamlessly at the moment. I can't believe how seamless. The last one was all right, but we had a few problems on the way, didn't we? If you know all about it, we had a few problems. But this one, none of them problems whatsoever. There's no seg faults, no nothing. E17 runs seamlessly. So I'm just going to wait for this to download. And wait, and wait. I'm not going to cut the video, no. We're keeping it real. Oh, yeah. Keep it real, baby. Five seconds, four seconds, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you used Puppy Looks before, you know the score here. It does some stuff. Yes, we want to install. We click OK. There we go. It starts thinking about it, you know, and does what it's got to do. There we go. It's been installed. 
Then my old Tango bar comes up. They banned that ad here in the UK, by the way. The Tango ad. Yeah, bummer, right? Eh? Yeah. We have to wait for this pay this little Tango bar to go away. And then once that's all done, we can go and look at what we've installed, which is Sea Monkey. Now, Sea Monkey used to come as standard a long, long time ago in Pup. But Pup's, like, as I said before, a victim of its own success. People like using it. It's nice and quick. It's small. We've got old system. that make it run. You can even get E17 running on it really good. You know what I mean? Like what we're doing now, but on a multi core machine, bloody hell, mate, flies like the wind. I think I know a song about that, but I'll be embarrassed to say who the artist was. So, anyway, right, we left click for the menu on the desktop, okay, and we go to applications. Now, some of you are saying, What the bloody hell is that menu? Well, it's E17, it's the way it works, baby, the way it works. We're going to go into a video about using E17 in PUP, well, in Mac PUP specifically, very shortly. I'm trying to do that for the end of next week. All depending on how your work goes. Okay, multimedia. Don't want that. We want internet, don't we? So I've just downloaded Sea Monkey. Oh, the web browser. That's the one I want. How does it render? Well, looking good to me, mate. Look. Oh yeah, that's really nice. That was nice and quick as well, wasn't it? Well, I'm quite pleased with that. Super duper. Get rid of that. We'll open up Fox. So Firefox should now open. Nice. Yes. So it's all working correctly together. Nothing's crossing each other's pages and stuff like that. So that's cool. So, you're saying to me, yeah, what's so different about MacPub? Well, the main thing is the E17 desktop environment, really, isn't it? That's what it uses for its basis and why it looks so nice. So I'm going to click Applications, and I'll go down to Settings, and I'm going to do a couple of little bits and bobs, because most of you have seen MacPub before, so this is really an update of 5.20. So I'm not going to do too much on that bit, because we're going to go more into E17 next week. But this is just to show you what it actually looks like, vanilla styley out of the box from the CD installed to the hard drive, not to USB, hard drive. If you want the speed, you really need to go to the hard drive, don't you? So I'm going to go down to modules. Oh, look what I've got. So I can do my utilities there, I can add all these to what I'm using. System there, I can have my battery manager, Bluetooth manager, connection manager. Look, right, this is a nice one. You'll like this. Now, I've done this before in Mac Pouch. Remember this? Penguins. We're going to load it and close. And here come me penguins. Now you're saying to me, oh, it's going to use all my resources up. Well, no, it won't use all your resources. I'll open up HTOP and you'll see what I mean. Okay, let it settle. That's fine, isn't it? Look, it's not doing anything, really, is it? But you can have these neat little effects. Your kids will love it. And then again, I'm a big kid myself, so I like it myself. So I've got my penguins walking around there, reading books, and they're green holes, and they're floating up with halos around their heads. That's nice. I like it. Like it, like it. I'm going to do that again, go back into settings, and we'll go to modules again. I'm going to go to look again, and I'm going to turn the old penguins off, or we'll unload them, as we say. What else we got? Well, we're going to have flame. Right, if you're going to use flame, don't use an old machine. It does take a lot, a lot of CPU usage, so I'll just load that up and show you what it means. Or well, it looks really. It looks really nice, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's the only bad bit, really. It takes quite a bit of your old CPU up. That's the only downside. But hey, I'm not really used to looking at flames, so no big deal for me. So we'll come out of that. We'll go back to settings again, back to our modules, and our look. And we can turn flame off. So we're all back to normal. You also get rain here. That's a nice one. It's rain. You can make it a slideshow as well. That's really nice as well. Another effect. But I'll do rain for you. We'll load it, and we'll leave that run running. Okay? Yeah, the old rain clouds going down there. See what I mean about these animated desktops of E17? If you go to the E17 place, right, the site, there is so much stuff you can actually put onto it yourself without having to go to John to say, John, can you make this for us? You can actually do it yourself, and it's really, really, really simple. Anybody can do it. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, including you, yes. But I've not even noticed my mouse slow down, really, so that's really cool and super nice and stuff like that. Okay, well, here we go through the menus while it's raining. Right under business, G numerics your baby, it's puppy, of course, and you get a calculator and stuff like that, home banks there, the desktop effects and stuff like that, change the background, doesn't normally work like you normally would, Pup. You have to go and do it the Enlightenment way. But as I said before, we're going to do another video on that and we'll come from it another time, all right? Under Documents, Abby Word, your baby. Works super cool. Let's open him up and see what happens. Five, four, three. Oh, blimey. I didn't even get to three. Look, that's nice. Now, being 525, it should be that one, 286. So, yes, that's nice. All works. Does most of your formats. That's what it says on the tin. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to the settings again. I'm going to turn the old rain off just for now. 
so I can get the video done and sort it out. Okay, so we'll scroll down, get rid of rain, unload, and you're back to normal. Nice, super duper. Right, I'm going to go applications again. Under fun, you get a couple of games, graphics, you get plenty there. Inkscape Vector Editor is there, M Paint is there. Some basic stuff for your camera. Remember, you can download from the Puppy Package Manager, which I'll show you very shortly. Under Internet, Firefox is your baby there, your standard. As you see, I've installed SeaMonkey, and I installed Skype, which actually works pretty super duper looper duper. I've not actually got the webcam to it yet, but I haven't actually tried it. So that's my fault, really, isn't it? Multimedia. Plenty here. Double F Convert Multimedia Converter is a must on Puppy. It actually converts anything to anything without even asking you any questions. It just works. It's probably the best things about Pup that I like at the moment. So bleeding super duper. Under Network, do your Fireball. Don't forget to do your Fireball. Shall I do it for you now? Okay, we'll do it for you now. Ready? There we go. Automatic, yeah, that'll do for me. We'll click the button. Yeah, it's fine. It's running through. Done. We're Fireballed. All done. Isn't that nice and simple? All done for you. Okay, that's network out of the way. There's stuff for Samba shares and stuff if you want to use it for networking. Personal, bcrypt as usual. Figaro password manager is there as usual. All there. Nice. Right, the puppy package manager. Now from here, you can actually install anything you so wish to choose, including record my desktop, compiz, stuff like that. If we go down to multimedia here, and I'll click for you. All different music players. Open Shop works perfectly in Pup. It will work perfectly in Mac Pup, no problem. Just get the blender. Don't forget to get the right blender. Oh, yes, indeedy. Exceeding for DVD player, maybe not. Uh, I would say Oggle is probably the better one. Especially if you've got an older machine, it will run really, really nice. So, yeah, that's cool. You've got stuff under the internet, so that's all different browsers there, like Aeon. Aeon is there. Yeah, lovely. Flash players there, Dialos there, Chromium's there. I've already done that. Filezilla. Everything is here for you to have a really, really nice desktop experience. Yeah. Well, of course it is. It's MacPup. What do you expect? And yeah, exactly. Now, we'll come back to MacPup in a day or two's time once it's been uploaded, and you can all start downloading it, and we're going to go a bit more into it a bit more and show you some more stuff that you can do. But this is 525 MacPup Super Bleeding Duper. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.